In this video, you're going to learn how to rationalize the denominator. So what does that mean to rationalize the denominator? Let's take a look at four examples so you can see how to work with this. So first of all, we don't want a square root or a cube root in the denominator. We don't want that radical okay, in the denominator. We want to get rid of it. So how do we get rid of it? How do we eliminate it? Well, there's a couple different techniques. Now, if you just have a monomial, monomial means just like one group, mono is one. We want to get rid of the square root of two. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the denominator by square root of two and the numerator by square root of two. And the reason is, is because square root of two times square root of two is square root of four. But what is a square root of four? It's two, right? And then two times five gives us 10. So what we've done effectively is we've gotten rid of the square root or the radical in the denominator. Now in the numerator, we just multiply across. We just say four times the square root of two. Now you can leave it like that, but you want to go a little bit further. There's a uh, four and 10 you can reduce. Four goes, uh, is divisible by two, so that's two. 10 is divisible also by two, that's five. So basically you want to keep reducing these two integers as far as you can. Okay, let's look at another example. So here we have three square root of three over square root of five. Again, we don't want that square root in the denominator, so we want to rationalize it. How do we do that? Well, we multiply by square root of five over square root of five. Now, anything divided by itself is one. So it doesn't change the value of the fraction. It's just gonna change the way that it looks. They're gonna be equivalent. Now, remember, when you multiply, what you wanna do is you wanna multiply numbers times numbers and square roots times square roots. So it's like multiplying like terms. So you don't see it, but there's like a one in front here. So three times one is three. Square root of three times square root of five gives us square root of 15. In the denominator, we have square root of five times square root of five, which is square root of 25. But we know the square root of 25 is just five. Notice we got rid of the square root in the denominator. We can't reduce any further, so that's it. So you've simplified and you've rationalized that fraction. Okay, let's go to some other examples now. These two examples, you can see there's a binomial, meaning bi means two, there's two terms in the denominator. You don't want the square root in the denominator, but what we're gonna do is a little different technique here. We're gonna multiply by what's called the conjugate. So instead of multiplying by one minus square root of three, we're gonna change that sign in between to the opposite, so one plus square root of three. If this was plus, I would make this minus. Just change the sign in between the two terms. Again, you can see we're multiplying top and bottom by the same thing, so it doesn't change the value of the fraction. It's just like multiplying by one. But what we're gonna do here is we're going to distribute the two. Okay, so two times one is two. Two times the square root of three gives us two square root of three. And the denominator, what we have is a binomial times a binomial. We're gonna FOIL, or you can do the distributive property twice. So let's distribute. One times one is one. One times square root of three is square root of three. Negative square root of three times one is negative square root of three. And negative square root of three times positive square root of three is negative square root of nine. Okay, so notice what happens. Square root of three and negative square root of three, those cancel because one's positive, one's negative. Square root of nine is three times a negative is negative three. So one minus three is negative two and we're left with, in the numerator, two plus two square root of three. Now what you can do is, you can split this up if you want into two fractions. Two divided by negative two is negative one. Uh, over here, two root three divided by negative two, you can reduce that's gonna give you negative one or negative one root three. So we simplified that down a little bit further. Let's look at another example. So for this one, again, we don't want that square root in the denominator, right? That's considered improper, but we have a binomial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply by the conjugate. So instead of being three minus square root of two, I'm gonna multiply by three plus square root of two. And you wanna do that to the numerator and the denominator. Okay, now because we're dealing with binomials, we can do the FOIL method or we can distribute twice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the FOIL this time. So first gives us two times three, which is six. Outer gives us two times square root of two, which is two square root of two. Inner gives us three times square root of five, so three square root of five. Okay, and then the last term is last and last. So square root of five times square root of two, is square root of 10. Now in the denominator, same thing, we've got first, which gives us nine, outer, which gives us three root two, inner gives us negative three root two, and the last gives us negative square root of two times positive square root of two is negative square root of four, okay? But notice the three root two and the negative three root two cancel. So as you do this more and more, you're gonna realize that the inside and the outside, those are gonna cancel out. Square root of four is two, that's a negative two. Nine minus two is seven. And then the numerator, we look to see if there's anything we can combine. There's nothing that we can combine here, so we're just gonna leave it as it is. So six plus two root two, plus three square root of five, plus square root of 10, all divided by seven, and you've got it. 
So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with rationalizing radicals better. Uh, subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.